Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, it's Brown City Men's Comics. In this video, I'm gonna give you my picks for comic books heading final order cutoff this coming Monday night, June 14th, 2021. That is a day earlier, Sunday night for DC Comics, talked about in this video. Have some great picks this week, and at the end of this video, there are a bunch, a bunch of additional late printing, especially coming from Image Comics. But getting right into this week's picks, we're starting with Image, and we get that Skybound X Number one, this is celebrating 10 years of Skybound. It's a weekly series that's going to kick off some new Walking Dead stories. We're going to also have some ultra mega stories, a bunch of different creators on this. We're going to have some Manifest Destiny, one of my favorite underrated image titles. Love that. Hope to see that come to Amazon at some point. Been dying for a Manifest Destiny. But either way, there's a bunch of great covers for here. And we are getting the first appearance of Clementine from the Telltale Walking Dead games. That's a big one to look, be on the lookout for. And there's a Charlie Adlard cover with Clementine on it. That's another one to pay attention to. Either way, Skybound X weekly series looks to be a fun one. Bunch of great different stories. If you're a Skybound fan, this is something you definitely want to be picking up. Then from Dark Horse Comics, my absolute favorite thing in the world, where we are getting that Masters of the Universe revelation this is going to be a four-issue miniseries, which is a prequel to the upcoming Netflix series by Kevin Smith. If you have not seen the trailer for that, it's absolutely phenomenal. You got Mark Hamill doing the voice of Skeletor. But either way, miniseries kicking off. It's going to have two covers. Both are absolutely gorgeous. And then on issue number two on, you're going to have Dave Wilkins, one of the best Masters of the Universe cover artists out there, doing covers for this. And if you're a fan of Dave Wilkins and that infamous Skeletor variant, one of my favorite, favorite comics to own in my collection. You are going to want to pay attention to Friends of the Channel, Tales from the Flip Side. Check them out live this coming Monday night at 9.30. They are going to have Dave Wilkins on their channel to talk about Master of the Universe. And although Dave Wilkins didn't do the cover for issue number one, I have heard rumor that there's a pretty amazing story exclusive that Dave Wilkins is doing for issue number one. And that's going to be from Wanted Comics. I don't know all the details. I just heard that it's going to be one that I should be on the lookout for. So I'm pressing that word on to you guys. Getting over to Marvel, we get Extreme Carnage Alpha number one. This looks to be one of the big releases from Marvel. This FOC picking up after the conclusion of King and Black. We get the Life Foundation, which consists of Scream, Phage, Riot, Lasher, and Agony reconciling with their sometimes noble intentions of their host with their often bloodthirsty impulses. But they aren't the only ones that find themselves reinvented after King and Black. They have an older sibling that may be reinvented in its own right, and we are talking about Carnage. As I stated, this looks to be the big, one of the bigger Marvel releases for this FOC. There's a bunch of great different covers for here. So pick the one you like. If you're a fan of Carnage, we know we got the Venom Carnage movie coming up. I always say buy cover A and then buy the cover you like. There are some incentive variants for this, and I'm sure there's going to be some store exclusives as well. So definitely pick the one you like. Or if you're really a fan, go Pokemon style and collect them all. Keeping within that Spider family, we also get the Amazing Spider Man number 70. This is the prelude to the upcoming Sinister War. But the main reason why I have it in this video, everyone loves Peach Bomoko. A lot of people love Spider Man. You combine those two together. And we get a great regular priced anime variant by Peach Momoko with Green Goblin on the cover. And it's important to point out that Peach Momoko is doing a lot of these variants for a lot of these different series within this FOC period. So if you're a Peach Momoko fan, that's something that might interest you as well. So be on the lookout for those anime variants. Another big release coming from Marvel for this final order cutoff is 
a new X-Men number one. That's right, we're getting another X-Men number one, and there's a bunch of covers for this one as well. I'm putting in this video more so that the viewers are aware of X-Men. I've been on the record before. I'm not the biggest X-Men fan. I, soapbox moment, I can't stand how many spinoff X-Men comics are, how many X-Men number ones there are, how many different tie-ins there are. I can't keep up with it. But what will get me by an X-Men number one is some of the cover artists on some of these covers. Absolutely gorgeous ones to pay attention to. But if you're an X-Men fan, this is definitely something that you might be interested in. Getting over to Boom Studios. Here's where, here's where comic collecting is great, right? Although I might not be an X-Men fan. From Boom Studios, I am really looking forward to this new WWE New Day Power of Positivity. It's, it's a two-issue story, but huge fan of New Day. Kofi, Big E, Xavier. I mean, I got Big E telling people welcome to Simple Man's Comics on this channel as the channel trailer. Love New Day. I'm so glad that Boom's getting back to doing some of these WWE comic books. I think the comic books might be better than the WWE content right now because WWE has just been kind of stinking. They just released a bunch of great wrestlers. Braun Strowman, one of my favorite, gone. Hope he picks up at AEW or something. Look forward to seeing him again. But either way, Boom Studios, WWE New Day. And one last thing. Did you see Kofi and Xavier and Power Rangers costumes on WWE the other day? Wouldn't it be great if... <laughs> Too bad. It's a little late, but I wish Kofi and Xavier would show up in this, in this two-issue series with maybe a Power Rangers crossover somewhere. That'd be awesome. Maybe in the future. Wishful thinking, at least. Moving on. And then getting into DC Comics, that great James Tynan series that just came out. Nice House on the Lake. We are getting issue number two, hitting Final Order Cutoff. Again, Final Order Cutoff for DC Comics is a day earlier than Diamond. So make sure you get your orders in because I heard of a lot of people not being able to find issues in the comic book store on release day. That's one of the reasons why I make this video so people can see well ahead of time and get those pre-orders in instead of trying to chase them on release day. But James Tynan, another hit on his hands, nice house on the lake. Issue one, absolutely loved it. If you haven't read it, definitely recommend picking it up, which is also gonna lead into another DC Comics with issue number two coming out for FOC. And that is that DC Conjuring the Lover number two. Conjuring Devil Made Me Do It movie just was released. It's on HBO Max, it's in theaters. This is a prequel that leads up to that movie. A lot of people are talking about plot holes within the Devil Made Me Do It Conjuring movie. This is a great backstory that leads up to it. Maybe it fills some of those plot holes. I doubt it will fill all of them, but if you're a fan of Conjuring, which there's a lot of fans of that franchise out there because they keep making the movies. Uh, either way, two great DC titles and their horror titles, which is going to lead me to one last pick before we get into the indie showcase. Talked about some trade paperbacks, talked about some hardcovers on here. I do have one hardcover that I'm interested in that's heading final cutoff this week as well. And that is that Chip Zdarsky Spider-Man life story. If you read those single issues, you saw it following Peter Parker throughout his life. That's right, Peter Parker aged. And that was great to see, story you don't see too often. Here we get the whole collected life story hitting in a hardcover volume. And it's hitting FOC this Monday. Why do I bring that up? A lot of times these hardcovers, if you pre-order them through LCS or online, you can save a bit of a discount off that MSRP price. If you're a fan of Chip Zdarsky, if you're a fan of Spider-Man, you haven't read this story, this is a good time to get your hand on it. That's going to bring us into the Indie Showcase portion, which again is brought to you by Black Cape Comics. BlackCapeComics.com. You can pre-order all the books talked about in this video, as well as the great independent titles. The first one we're talking about in the Indie Showcase this week comes from AWA Upshot, and we are talking about Fight Girls number one. This looks to be a great series, especially if you're a fan of Frank Cho. It is written and drawn by Frank Cho. Love his art. And one of the nicest guys to meet at a comic convention. Super funny guy. And really looking forward to picking this up. The story is about 10 hard as nails women that face off in a true contest of champions where the winner truly takes all and earns the title of queen. And one of the 10 is actually an infiltrator that has her eye on a bigger prize than just that title. I've talked about AWA Upshot on this channel before. One of the great 
newer publishers that have come out within the recent years. Love their stories and have some great creative teams on here. Frank Cho, love his art. Really looking forward to picking this up. Then the next one in the Indie Showcase this week, talked about issue number one that just came out. But we are talking about Basilisk number two. Talked about how great Cullen Bunn is. Talked about in this very video series how I get the Something is Killing the Children vibes from Basilisk. Loved issue number one, getting into issue number two. It's still early if you haven't picked this up yet to get in on the ground floor. Issue number one is also getting a second print, so if you missed out on that, just from that reader perspective, it's worth picking it up. Colin Bunn, I've said it before, one of my favorite writers, especially when it comes to creator-owned, and even more so when it comes to horror comics. And it's got regular covers as well as incentive variants. And that's going to wrap up the Indie Showcase, but like I said at the beginning of this video, there's a bunch of of later printings, especially from Image Comics this week. We are getting Ant number 12 with the second print. Geiger number three is also getting a second print. Noctera number two is getting a fourth print, as well as Noctera number three getting a third print. Stray Dogs, one of my favorite series from Image Comics right now. Been talking about since issue one, hit FOC, and love to see new readers picking this up and going, wow, this is great. And one of the things I'm loving to see is how new readers are coming onto this series and everyone I know is enjoying it. Shout out to Tony Fleeks on a great story on this one. But issue number one is getting a fourth print. Issue number two is getting a third print. Issue number three is getting a third print as well as issue number four also getting a third print. And I am loving how each one of these additional printings has a different horror movie homage cover for it. it makes the collector of me actually wanna go Pokemon style and collect all of them. Also from Boom Studios, we are getting Magic the Gathering number three, getting a second print. Then from Mad Cave Studios, Beckstar number one is getting a second print. And also from Mad Cave, Nottingham, another great series that's going on right now. And it's proven so right here. Well, we're getting a bunch of additional prints for this title. Issue number one is getting a fifth print. Issue number two is getting a fourth print. Issue number three is getting a third print. And issue number four coming with that second print. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks, my Indie Showcase picks, as well as all those additional printings hitting FOC this coming Monday night. Again, Sunday for DC Comics. Make sure you get your orders in, secure your copies, get a little bit of a discount, and keep yourself from chasing them on release day or after when their prices start going up. This is Brown Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video. I work hard for my ends, at times I gotta repent Just got paid, now it's spent Just got laid, now she vent Call out sick, now we bet Then we miss the event We end up sexing in bed She like twisting my hair PC